Hello there, everybody. It's Sam here, coming back again with a brand new Premiere Pro tutorial video showing you on this particular one how to render and properly, I mean, render a video. In other words, how to export a video in a really nice definition from Premiere Pro. So, I know that many of you guys are suffering from this issue. Me myself, I've suffered from it ago. But now I'm showing you the solution, a perfect solution to go with on this occasion. So um, I'm gonna just provide the best format and best options that you're gonna apply on your video. Heading to the software, I have here a Counter Strike Global Offensive footage just small enough to show you okay you're gonna first go to the very first frame and mark in with this button then press this little button here to head to the really last frame and then mark out this was the first step now head to the file export this is really mm, easy not even complicated then press media or just use this shortcut ctrl plus m then this little window here gonna pop up these are several advanced options that you can find okay first of all uh, you're gonna go here on this format there and change it to h.264 this is the uh, the origin uh, YouTube video format so if you go with this option here it's gonna provide you a really small size of the video but with a really nice definition and quality okay then you're gonna go to these presets um, I don't know if you kind of like uh, like this the original appearance of your video like this quality I think I'm just happy with that but I don't know if you guys have a lower colored one you can go to this pair go to the very last one in the bottom here if you are uh, actually youtubers or uh, I don't know some sort of youtubers I guess you can use this uh, last five options to export properly your video so I'm gonna wait go with this um, I think it's gonna be a perfect match BAM here uh, this is actually um, a quick window allowing you to see how is the video is looking according to the f uh, options you've set now I'm, I want you to go to this bar, check it and make sure to make this sequence in slash out afterwards you may gonna have a little problem on the edges of the video so you may notice a little kind of dark on sides like the video is much smaller than uh, the option you've set so I wanna I want you go to this so scale in and check it to scale to fit and here you go now you're gonna head to this little zone make sure that you are checking this export video because it's the goal from this video right okay if you wanna export the audio which comes with the video on the editing you can check this but according to my video and the footage I'm using there is no actual audio tracks so I'm gonna just disable it but if you have audio tracks on your video you may keep it because okay it's your choice anyway and now you're gonna go to this video I want you to just leave all this information as it is then we have already finished setting up our options and just gonna head to the last part if you had an um, Adobe encoder installed already you can create this video to it just gonna add a nice touch but I prefer not to because just gonna 
take time from you. Anyway, so you can finish and set it all world thing up by pressing this little export. I'm sorry, guys. I just forgot to mention it. You need if you this is really optional. You can change the name of the video. I'm gonna leave it as it is and gonna export it on the desktop. Go save and then export. This little window should pop up and start rendering your video. So I'm just gonna pause till it's done and come back later. Okay, everything seems to be nice and good now. Just check this up. 18.9 megabytes on this gorgeous little footage. As you can see, the quality isn't that bad. You can still count on that. So, eventually, hope you guys enjoyed you know, something useful. Please help us to survive and grow to this channel up more with your feedbacks, of course, providing subscribe, like, and following our page on Twitter. So long.